May 13th, 1998. Jordan is so dreamy. Today in the halls, he came up to me and asked me to prom. Of course I said yes. What girl in her right mind can resist those gray eyes and brown hair? On top of that, he's the all-American quarterback and both his parents work for Umbrella. I crushed on him for ages and today he's made my dreams come true. I'm so excited and when he asks me out, I'll show him just how proud I am to be his. May 20th Today is the day. My parents paid for my gorgeous brown and black dress, our high school colors. He'll be here soon. Gotta go. May 21st Last night's prom was so awesome. It worked out as well as I hoped it would. We made it official last night in more ways than one. I'm so glad he's mine. May 23rd I can't believe it. I heard on the news that Casey was killed in the Arclay Mountains. No wonder she hasn't been coming around lately. They say it was a grizzly bear attack. Oh my god. I knew her since middle school and she had a fun personality. I can't imagine how her family's feeling right now. June 6th Jordan came into the house without knocking today. He told me that he hadn't heard from his father in weeks. As a researcher for Umbrella, he had been called to stay somewhere and hadn't heard from him since. I don't know what's going on with all these disappearances and I can safely say that I don't like it. It's cutting into me and Jordan's time together. July 7th Jordan hasn't been himself lately. There's still no word from his father and now his mother has been called to work long hours at the Umbrella facility here in Raccoon. I know I haven't been posting in here lately, but most of my time has been supporting Jordan in this trying time. I hope this all blows over soon. July 25th Jordan came to my house crying. He told me Umbrella called him and told him that his father is dead. Apparently he had been working at some house in the Arclay Mountains and there was some freak accident there thanks to the stars. Also, Umbrella is calling all hands on deck for something big. His mother was assigned to work at their facility here in Raccoon. They've given her a room there until her assignment is over. Who knows when she'll come home. September 24th. They're coming. My God, they're coming, and the police can't save us. My God, help us. There is no more.